It's time for a chick update. Hi, I'm Lorella, not a farm girl. Five years ago, I moved my family from the city to the farm, and I'm learning animal husbandry, how to garden, and I do DIY projects here on our farm. Be sure and click the subscribe button so you can see our videos each week as they come out. These girls are almost three weeks old. Can you believe it? I thought I'd bring them in and give you a look at how they're looking now and talk to you about them. If you haven't seen my other video, uh, the 2019 chick video, I'll put a link to it in the end card and also in the description below. The first thing I would like you to notice, if I can get these girls to stand up a little bit, is how much bigger this breed is compared to the Silky. Can you see that? That's because Silkies are a Bantam breed, so they'll always be a little bit smaller than the other chicks. When we got them, they were nearly the same size, but the other breeds are growing much faster. Let's take a look at some of them. All right, Mama, you come here. Come here, Mama, step up. There you go. Something that I learned as a parrot owner, actually, I had cockatiels, is that a bird has a natural instinct to climb to a higher roost. So when I wanted to pick her up, I simply put my fingers in front of her belly and pushed a little bit, and she climbed right up from my arm to my hand. I'll show you when I do the next bird. Look at those feathers. She's absolutely stunning. This is one of our silver laced Wyandots, and you can see that she has black feathers and she's starting to get the white rings around the outside of her feathers. That creates a lace pattern. And that is what distinguishes her breed. That's one of the reasons I bought them. They're absolutely beautiful. You can also see that the first place the chicks get their feathers is in their tail and in their wings and a little bit on their backs. Their chests and heads are still fuzzy. Hi, gorgeous. Hi, beautiful. Hi, baby girl. All right, let me check out one of the next ones. Okay, step up there. Okay, watch this. So watch this. I want her to come up. I just go like this. Naturally, she steps up onto the higher perch. There you go. That's a tip for you. This is one of our Easter eggers. I think her coloring is absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna see if I can get you a good look at her feathers. Look at that. She's gonna be gorgeous. Our Easter eggers are different colors. We have a yellow one, we have two brown ones, and a couple of other, I think, gray ones. I think we have five all together. And I want you to notice her wing and how nice her wing is developing. And especially notice like the feather spacing uh, because I'm gonna compare it to the other ones in a minute. Okay. Let's take a look at our Silky. Come here, Mama. All right, shh, 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 you're okay. Look at that crown on her head. Isn't that gorgeous? It's gonna be nice and poofy and beautiful. She's a blue silky. And um, what I really want you to see about her, you can't see right now because of the way she's sitting. So let me see if I can just convince her to stand up. Stand up, show them your feet. Look at those furry feet. Isn't that a hoot? Look at that. All right, let me see if I can get her knee, the back of her leg out and show you. Here we go, here we go. Look at this right there. Look at those fuzzy legs and feet. I love these guys. They're gonna be absolutely gorgeous. And they're super good moms. I want you to take a look at her wing spacing. And notice how even her wing looks fuzzy and light compared to the wings on the other birds. Isn't that amazing? That is quite amazing, girls. Let's see, what else do we want to talk about? When we purchased the chicks, the Easter Eggers and Silver Lace Wyandotes come sexed. That means they can determine at hatching whether they are male or female. So we got four pullets of the Silver Lace Wyandotte. We got four 
coolets of Easter eggers and they gave us an extra, so we have five. So those will all be hens. The silkies come in straight run. Straight run means they can't tell at hatching whether they're male or female or it's much more difficult to tell. So you get what you get and you don't throw a fit. So I purchased four. They gave me a fifth one, so we have five silkies, and we're kind of hoping for a silky rooster. I would love to be able to breed these girls and um, have them hatch out some of their eggs. Let's see. What else did I talk about? What else did I talk about, guys? Um, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time, the rooster crows. You guys wanna see what they look like now in the brooder? I'll go feed them and then come back and get you. Hi there, let's pose for a picture. Don't jump, don't do it, don't, oh, you wanna be with them. Okay.